<laughs> huh? Well, good morning to you, Neslu. Good morning, Hassan. All right, well, let's get started making this breakfast, shall we? Now, what would you like this morning, Neslu? Well, since Hassan is making my breakfast, I guess Nezla is still up there sleeping. Mm -hmm. She had a very busy day yesterday. Mm -hmm. I guess she's tired. Here you are, Neslu. Your breakfast just like you like it, made especially by Chef Hassan. Thank you, Hassan. But I'm afraid I have no appetite today. I'm so excited that we're going to the city. I can't even think of food right now. All I think about is all the fun stuff that we're going to do in the city. All of us together. Oh, hey, good morning, Dad. Well, good morning, son. How are you feeling this morning? Well, come to think of it, I'm just a little nervous, Dad, mm -hmm. you know. Well, why? Well, I had a bunch of strange dreams, Dad, about our old house in the city and my friend Emery and everybody, you know. That sure is an interesting dream, being uh -huh. that we're going to stay at Emery's house for our big uh -huh. trip this summer. Uh, oh, uh -huh. hey, good morning there, Nazu. Good morning to you too, Nazi. Hey, Nazi, just don't stand around. Help your father make breakfast this morning. You know what to do. Come on, help yeah. me get started. Oh, sure. I'll help you out, Dad. I'll make pancakes. Huh? Well, you should set the table first, son. Then you can make the pancakes, uh, okay? Yes, sir, Captain Dad. It's okay. Maybe we're not going to see our old house in the city, but we're going to go visit our old friends and family. I'm so excited to see all of them. And maybe Nashville will take me for a visit to my old pet shop. Dad, I guess, I guess Mommy's really tired, huh? Oh, and maybe Nashville and Hassan will buy me some of my super special kitty food. Yeah. She's already awake, son. She's upstairs packing our bags and getting the gifts ready. You know, for our big trip into the city. Uh -huh. Well, I already packed my bag yesterday. Well, yesterday, Mom was packing like crazy. All uh, the fruits uh, and vegetables she could find here in the uh, valley, putting them in bags and stuff yeah. to take to the city. Well, you know, she forgot a few things, so she's trying to make sure she's prepared. You know how your mom hey, is, Dad, son. isn't it kind of strange yeah. to give vegetables as a gift? I think mm -hmm. it would be better just to get some gift certificates or CDs or something. Uh, Don't you hmm. think that would be a better gift, well, huh, Dad? the important thing is not the gift itself, son, but the thought behind it. That's why your mom wants to pick some nice vegetables and some nice uh -huh. flowers and different things. As a gesture to our friends, she wants to show the beauty of Green Valley as a representation uh -huh. of our friendship. That's a better way to show friendship. Uh -huh. Don't you think so, son? Yeah, I guess you're right, mm -hmm. Dad. Uh -huh. Aren't you the one who wanted to bring ladybugs to the city, huh? Uh -huh. All right, son. Well, the tea's ready, so go ahead and call your mom. Yes, sir, Sergeant Captain Daddy. Huh? Well, let's see. What am I forgetting hey, here? I think it's the, the bread, isn't ready. it? That's exactly Come what on, it mom. is. Huh? I think I, for I think I forgot to toast the bread. Where does she keep it? We're going to hit the road tonight, and will you just look at his closet? Oh, oh no, it's too small. And it's not the only one. They're all too small. Ah, oh, I have an idea. I'll wrap them all up and donate them to a charity in the city. That's what I'll do. Gee, I must have gained a lot of weight. I know why. It's because the neighbors invite me out to dinner every night. And you know what a great cook Miriam is. And she never makes anything that she doesn't bring some over for us, too. It's just too much food all the time out here in the country. Uh, hey, Mom, what are you doing, huh? Oh, hi, Nessie. Uh, well, breakfast is waiting and ready for you. Well... I'm sorry, but I'm just way too busy to come down to eat. Oh, Mom, come on. Let's no. do it after breakfast. I'll help you. Come on, no. let's go, okay? No, sweetheart, that's okay. I'll do it myself. Besides, oh. I have to get ready for this trip, oh. and your dad made a big mess huh? in here. He took out every shirt to try on just to pick out uh, one. Uh, okay, then. So, hmm. you go ahead and start breakfast. I'll come down when I'm done. Oh, uh, okay, I guess. Ah. <sighs> Now, this is what I call a down-home breakfast. What do you think, family? <laughs> Come on, Nazi, get your mom and let's sit down and eat breakfast. Well, mom is all kind of covered up with luggage and stuff upstairs, Dad, you know. What? Are you sure? Well, she should finish that up after she eats breakfast, can't she, she son? She said she's not going anywhere till she cleans up that whole mess. Mm -hmm. Well, I see. I have an idea, Nazi. Why don't you go to the garden, pick some nice flowers, you know, daisies and roses and things like that, all the flowers your mom likes, and put them here on the table. That way she'll come downstairs when she smells them. Oh, yeah! Nezla would love that idea. She always loves her tables decorated. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to go try to find the most beautiful mm -hmm. flowers here mm -hmm. in the valley. Uh, hey, Dad? Huh? Is something burning or something? Uh, oh, well, uh, I do know that Nezla doesn't like burnt Oh, toast. no, it's the bread. I burnt the bread. Uh, 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 oh, no. How could oh. I forget the bread? How could I do this? Uh, hot. Oh, hey, good morning there, Mariah. Hey, Nazi, huh? 
What are you doing picking daisies to make tea, man? You don't use those flowers. But these aren't, these aren't daisies, Mariah. Yes, they are daisies, man, but the one you use for tea are a lot oh. smaller. Anyway, uh, if you want me to find the flowers that you're supposed to use for tea, I can go pick them. I don't have a problem. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Mariah, but these are for the breakfast table for my mommy. I'm huh? sure she's just gonna love them. <laughs> What do you mean flowers for the breakfast table, man? Why are you doing that, oh, huh? Come See? on now, Murat. My mom loves flowers on the breakfast table. Look, these are longer flowers. You should take these. You know, my mom has been working so hard the last two days, getting ready for this trip and all, so me and my dad, we decided to make breakfast for her as a surprise. So we're going to put flowers on the table, you know, to try to make her really all happy. All right, then. Take some more. Hey, let's pick a bunch. Oh, hey, Murat, why don't you pick some for your mom, too? My mom would never put flowers on the table. She's too busy for that. Well, maybe you could just make her a big breakfast, too, you know, with hash browns and uh, stuff. My mom's been awake for hours. But you're right, Nazim. My mom didn't have breakfast. She's been outside watering the garden. Okay, secret plan, then. Sneak back in the house, you and Zineb, go in the kitchen and start cooking breakfast. Eggs, hash browns, bacon, you know. Well, Zineb is helping my mom right now. I can't do it all by myself, Nazim. All right, well, I thought it was a good idea, but let's just uh -huh. pick flowers. You guys getting ready for your trip? Yeah, I think my dad said we're going to leave about 5 p.m. tonight or something. Hey, you guys are going to take the bus, right? You know, I know the bus driver. He's uh, a friend of mine's brother. Uh, whose brother's that? Oh, it's just a guy named David that I know, but you haven't met him yet. Does he seat. still live here? No, nah, they moved away to the city, uh, but uh, his brother still lives here in Green Valley and drives the bus. Uh, are you sure he's the driver of the mm -hmm. bus we're Yeah, going I'm on? sure, because I already talked to uh, him about it. He's the one uh, driving the bus into uh, the city tonight. If you want, I'll introduce you guys uh, so you don't get bored on your trip, uh, you know what I mean? I'm not going to get bored. I'm so excited, man. I can't wait to get on the bus. Oh, I don't know about that. Huh? I always get bored on long trips. Well, how do you know anyway, man? Huh? Have you ever been on a bus? Well, no, but uh, David's brother told me, you know, it's going to be a really long drive. Yeah, I just don't think so. I think it's going to be a very quick trip. Me, my dad, my mom. It's going to be so fun. The whole family together. Back in the city. You know, could to see all my old friends and stuff. And first class on a bus, man. It could be really too hot to take a bus ride today <sighs> into the city. Do you know how long it's been since I've got to see my friends and Emery and mm. stuff? It seems like it's just been a lifetime, you know. You know? I'm willing to bet that Nigel's not going to be very happy on that bus. It's going to be so hot, she's just uh -huh. going to be miserable. But like I said, Nizzy, I can introduce you to my friend's brother, and he can get you near the seats that have the air conditioner or something like that. You know, you have someone to talk to, at least. You know, Emery, he doesn't even know, you know, that we're coming to the city. It's a big super-duper surprise, you know. <laughs> I think that's enough, Nizzy. I mean, how many flowers do you, you need know anyway? What? This is the first time I've ever been away from Emery for a long time. How yeah. long are you guys going to stay? Well, I don't know, but I hope I can stay till at least school starts, you know. Did you know that me and Emery were born on the same day, same hospital, and weighed the exact same amount oh, when we were born? Uh, how many times are you going to uh, tell me that story, uh, Izzy? And you know, Emery's mom, Marianne, she pretty much considers me her son, just like Emery. We love each other. Wow, nice. Great. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. You know, she always buys stuff at the store for me, just like she does for Emery. Yeah, and one time, she took us all, like, on a family trip to the circus. Yeah, I saw a big Ferris wheel and a bunch of horses and a really cool laser light show, man. It was Cool. Lasers shining out of the sky. We have a circus here too, Nazi. Yeah, but does yours take your photo when you're on the ride? <laughs> There's this one photographer who has a camera and he can take your photo and he can give it to you right away. I, I think they call them instant cameras. He pulls it right out of the bottom of the camera. It's pretty cool, man. You should try it sometime, Nazi. I'm not talking about a guy with a camera, man. Huh? This is computerized, Jitterized. You'll be riding the slide, and it'll take like six, seven pictures, and you pick the best. All right, all right, Nizzy. That's enough. I gotta get going, man. You better get going, too. Otherwise, you're gonna blame me for being late to see your new best friend, Emery. And I don't wanna be responsible for getting you on the bus late, man, so you get out of here, and I'll do the same, man. Have a safe trip, Nizzy. Oh, and don't forget your pretty flowers. Oh, man, what did I do? Huh. Hey, what's up, Yaman? Everything's groovy. How about you? No, uh, I guess I don't know, because Nazee's going away into the city tonight. Yeah, I know. Nazee's been talking about it the last couple days, talking about how much he wants to go see his old neighborhood and the city lights and go to the movies. Yeah, well, Nazee's going to see his best friend. You know, he can't stop talking about him. He's been talking about him ever since he got to Green Valley, so I guess that's going to make him happy. I'll never be his best friend like Emery is, so... The two grew up together, and that's all he talks about. Emery, Emery, Emery. You know, when they all first moved here, I didn't think I could get along with that little white pretty kid in Nas Lou. But now we're best friends. Nazee, he's getting used to it, too. Just look at him play. Nazee loves the city. I don't even know if he's coming back. Come to think about it, what if Nas Lou gets used to living back in the city and she doesn't want to come back here to Green Valley? <sighs> she might miss her pretty city kid of food and the white sand of beaches there in the city and the traffic lights and all the noise and confusion. You're oh, right, man. No. They're not coming back, are they? No, they're not. Oh, yeah, no, no, forget about it. I'm sure they're going to come back and just be fine living here in Green Valley. Yeah, yeah. you're right, they should. Uh, I'm sure they'll be back. 
Hey, Yaman, I think I'm gonna go for a walk. Rock and roll all night, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, rock and roll all night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. where are you going, Billy? I think I'm gonna go check out that new fish hook over there that Nizi just threw into the water. It looks amazing. I think that's the nicest fish hook I've ever seen in my life. Uh, 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 um. Hey man, look at this picture from the fair. Look at the Ferris wheel. Then we were on the roller coaster, man. It was so cool. You should have been mm. there. Yeah. Oh, my best friend. Mm. Uh. Uh, well, I better go home now, I guess. It's a big job to clean up the barn. Mm. Oh man, I know what I'm gonna bring Emery now. Well, uh. it's not something that's alive. Oh is no, it? Mom. I'm sure all the bugs in Green Valley are going to be happy about that decision, son. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to bring him, honey? No, I'm going to bring him my wood car. Oh, oh, come on now. You mean the wood car you made with Marat? Yeah, Dad. Mm -hmm. I bet he's going to love that car. You know, it's all handmade. I used both my own hands to well, make it. that's a great idea, honey. Mm -hmm. But where's he going to use well, that car in the city? He could probably just drive it around the neighborhood and be cool, you know. He could put <sighs> stickers and stuff on it. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool, son. Well, Henry has a bike. He doesn't need that wood thing. Uh, What's that? Hey, somebody's oh. at the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll get it. <laughs> Hold on. Well, good morning, Miriam. How you doing well, today, Well, how are you? Is your mama home? <laughs> oh, good morning there, Miriam. Come on in. <laughs> well, good morning, Nejla. I'm sorry to disturb you. Miriam, would you like to join us for a cup of tea, oh, huh? Of course she would. Now, well, see, would you mm -hmm. set a place for Miriam at the table for us? No, no, son. Sure. I'm not going to stay long. Don't you bother with that. I forgot to give you this yesterday. It's some homemade tomato paste. I thought you'd like to take some with you. You know, give some to Nancy, and then you could give some maybe to another neighbor uh -huh. or somebody else. Whoever. Meow! Miriam, you again? All day you've been bringing over your whole kitchen. Blueberries, walnuts, green peppers, red peppers. Meow! All of that food is making me hungry. Meow! Mm -hmm. I don't think they'll fit on the bus either. Oh, thank you so much, but you didn't have to bring all of these. You are just well, way too generous, Miriam. You've already done too much. Well, but this is different. This is all completely uh -huh. homemade. You can't find anything like this in the city, uh -huh. Nashla, and you know that's true. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Miriam. You've been very helpful. You're very thoughtful. Do you need anything else from Green Valley, uh -huh. Nashla? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, thank you, Miriam. I've already got everything, but thank you so much for asking me. Oh, hey, Miriam, mm -hmm. what's Marat doing anyway? Well, I don't really know. I haven't mm -hmm. seen him all morning. Oh, well, I actually saw him this morning. I wonder what that kid's up to again. Meow, he's always into some kind of trouble. He never calms down. I'm also going to pick you up some parsley and some fresh mint and some oregano, you know. You can't find anything that good in the city. Huh. You know, you've smelled it, haven't you, Nejla? Well, you're right. I wouldn't have dreamed that oregano could smell like that until I came to Green mm -hmm. Valley. Come on, Miriam. Why don't you sit down uh -huh. and have breakfast with us? I made well, it myself. thank you, Hassan, but you all have uh -huh. so much to do this morning. You better let me go and take uh -huh. care of my chores, too. You know, I need to go water the well, garden. Well, he's not in the garden. I can go look for him. Miriam, you are such a great neighbor. Thank you for agreeing to take Nazlu for us and take care of her while we're what? away. Oh, come on now, Nejla. You know Zineb loves that little kitty cat. Uh -huh. They're going to have a great time now. You just go enjoy your trip and don't worry about a thing, So they're okay? not taking me? I'm going to stay here? That is not fair, not fair at all! Oh, thanks again. I am so lucky to have a neighbor so like you. So you're not taking me, huh? You're going to leave me with the strangers? Meow! Now, I'm going to go home and make some cheese pastries for lunch. Mm -hmm. And I really hope that you guys will come over and join me, because I know you've got a long trip ahead of you, and you don't have time to stop. Miriam, did I hear you say you have pastries for lunch? Well, you listen to him, Miriam. <laughs> well, i got to go now, but I'll see you at lunchtime. We'll be there. You can sure depend on that. Sure, Fresh honey. pastries. Of I course. love Miriam's pastries. <laughs> we'll go. <laughs> All right, then. I'll see you later on. I guess on. nobody cares about me. <sighs> I'm just going to leave. Where am I going to go? Oh, I'm leaving. I should go clean up Nazee's room. Oh. Thank you, gentlemen, both, for a beautiful breakfast. So, honey, did you like my breakfast I cooked for you? Yes, the breakfast was wonderful. You even did a good job setting the table. And when you get to cleaning up, I huh? hope you do just as good a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nazee, Mrs. Huh? Sebastian sent us some dessert, and we still have her plate. You know, we're going to have to return it to her. Is that something you could take care Yay! of, Nazee? I get to go see Miss Sebastian. No, honey, uh -huh. we still have dessert left over from last night. Why don't we have Nazee take her some? 
Oh, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Here you go, Nazi. Now just be careful and don't break that plate. Oh, okay, Mom, don't worry. Hurry back. Thanks so much for breakfast, honey. Well, I guess it's my job to clean up the table. Hmm. Oh, hey, Mariah, you want to come with me to Mrs. Sebastian's house? Why would I want to go there with you, Nassim? Well, I have to give her back this plate, and she might just give us some of her famous chocolate chip cookies. I just gave me some of her famous chocolate cookies. I got stuff to do, Nassim. Well, I'm why busy. are you so busy? Can it wait till later, man? Come on, let's go get the cookies. I said I'm busy, man. When you're busy, you don't go outside, do you? No, you stay inside because you're busy and you have things to do. Well, I'm busy too, man. I have to go down to the lake and meet some friends, and I don't want them to wait later around, you know? So I'm just going to go down there, and you you eat all the cookies you want by yourself. Uh, okay, so don't bother me anymore today. I'll be at the lake with my friends, so have a great trip, man. Uh, oh, what's going on with him? Oh, and see, I wouldn't want you to forget to bring your friend some of Mrs. Sebastian's cookies because they're the best cookies in the world, and he's not going to find any cookies like that in the big city. No, he won't, Nizzy. No, he won't. I don't understand. He loves Miss Sebastian's cookies. Oh, he always comes with me. Oh, well. Ah. <laughs> Naslu? Naslu? Kitty cat? Naslu? Find her, hon? No, honey, she's not here. Hey, Mom, I can't find Nazlu anywhere. Oh, dear, where can she be? We're about to leave, and I can't find her anywhere. Don't worry, Nedula. I'm sure she's just playing around. Come on inside, Nazi, and give uh -huh. me a hand. I got a lot of luggage I have to load up. Well, I hope we find uh -huh. her. Okay, Dad. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nazlu? Oh, Nazlu? Nezla, uh, what oh. is it? What's happened Hi. now? Hello there, Mrs. Nezla. Are you looking for <gasps> little Nazlu? Oh, yes, we're looking for Nazlu, and she's just disappeared. Oh! That's weird. I wonder where she could be. Well, don't worry, Najla. Uh -huh. She's just a little kitty cat. Nasloo. I'm sure she's playing Nasloo. around here somewhere. She's going to turn Nasloo. up any time. would never do kitty, such kitty, a thing, kitty, Miriam. Nasloo, where are you? Oh, man. Well, that's all of it. We're oh, about to leave. Yeah, wait I don't understand this. Dad. Hello, Hassan oh, and Izzy. I see you guys Hi. are oh, ready morning, to go. Oh, good morning, How are you doing today? I just came to see you guys before you leave. Uh, Zinep, did Murat come with you, too? Oh, no. He's busy at home. He said oh. he has things to do. Well, it's okay, son. You know how Murat is. But look here. I'll bake you some cookies. Thanks a lot, Miriam. Cookies are yummy. Oh, Miriam, you didn't have to do that. But thank well, you so much okay. anyway. I just want to be neighborly. All right then, guys. I guess it's time for us to get uh -huh. a move on. We still can't find Nazlu, honey. What are we going to do now? Well, don't worry about <sighs> it. She's a cat. You know, she'll come home <sighs> sometime. Don't worry, Mrs. Nesha. I'll look for her. I'll look all over the valley. I promise. I'll find her. Well, thank you, Zanep. But I'm going to be so worried about my little cat. There's nothing we can do about it now. I'm sure Miriam's right. She's around here somewhere, but... I guess I'm just sad that she didn't come over and say goodbye before we took off for our trip. Zanep, tell her I said goodbye. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that I really miss her and that we'll see her in just a few days. All right, Mr. Hassan, I'll tell her. All right, well, thank you for everything and uh, take care of I'll yourself. I'll see you later and you have a safe trip. Oh, we will. Thank you. And don't forget to take care of the garden too, Miriam. I think we'll be back in about mm -hmm. two or three days. Well, I will. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you worry about a thing and I'll take care of uh, everything. Zanep, how come mm -hmm. Murat didn't come to say goodbye I to really me? I really don't know, Nizzy. He didn't say anything to me. Well, he's been acting pretty weird all day long. Uh, I hope I didn't make him mad or something. Well, Nizzy, mm -hmm. I don't think it's about you. Uh, I just think he was busy uh, at home with some stuff of his. Uh, Don't worry about yeah, maybe, it. Maybe, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yay! I'm glad I made it. Oh, I yeah, hope yeah. he's not mad at me. It seems to me that Murat is very upset that Murat has other friends outside of Green Valley. He's also scared that Nizzi might not come back. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. We'll see you later. Everybody take mm -hmm. care. Now, where is that Nazlu? Nice Bye-bye now. You tell everybody there that we say hello. All right, Miriam, I will. We'll call you as soon as we get there and let you know. I hope you can find little Nazlu. I'm so worried about that Come on, cat. honey. We don't want to be late. Mm -hmm. You take care of yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. She's going to be back soon, I know it. Huh? Don't you worry. Goodbye, Mrs. Nesla. Good Have a now. safe trip. Maybe they put her inside one of those nice fancy suitcases. Oh. Oh. Bye-bye, Nizzy. Uh.